Hello and welcome back. I've done videos about Carhartt in the past. Most of the time it's been about my experience with the brand or about the brand in general, but today's a little bit different because I wanna talk about a specific collection that came out today. Carhartt announced their Heritage Icon Collection, which consists of four pieces. Their A18 watch hat, their J130 active jack, their K87 workwear pocket tee, and their B01 firm duck double front work dungaree. Now these pieces should sound familiar as they represent Carhartt through their history as some of their most popular items. The pocket tee was originally introduced in 1992 and it quickly became a fan favorite. I love these because it's perfect for one of those times when the morning's gonna be a little bit cold, but later on it's gonna be warmer and all you're gonna be wearing is that t-shirt. Having that pocket really is just very convenient for pens or whatever you're gonna throw in there. And they're also a burlier construction than what's typical of most t-shirts. The A18 watch hat can be found pretty much anywhere. Even people who really don't know Carhartt, they own one. My buddy came and visited me from LA and he was wearing one of these. They're affordable, they're a high value item. I have two in my car right now. Now when I say the words Carhartt jacket, the image that probably comes to mind is of their active jack. Now this has been around since the mid 70s and originally it was made out of denim, later on became a duck variety and it's gone through several changes. Their most modern version of it, I think that came out last year, went through a lot of different changes. But this is the jacket that most people think of when they picture a Carhartt jacket. I'm actually on my second one, my first one I wore through and it just became too raggedy, but it's just a workhorse. These things just last forever. They're, they're very well designed and they're just one of those pieces that I think is iconic. Finally, we have the legendary double front work dungaree and this actually was introduced in the 1930s. The cool thing about these is that they are so tough that by the time you wear through the knees, you're gonna have to replace the engine in your pickup truck. I mean, they last seemingly forever because you have a double front on them, two layers of duck fabric. So to wear through one layer is something, to wear through two layers is another. So, I mean, they really do, they last forever. These are a favorite I've noticed among carpenters, people who really have to do a lot of work with cutting and, and sharp you know, instruments. I like them a lot because as an electrician, when you kneel down, you tend to wear through pants pretty damn quickly. These though, I mean, being a tougher material already, having that double front, you get your value out of them, no doubt. So none of these products are actually new, but what's different about them is first thing and the smallest is that little tiny Car in Heart logo, which is one of the old Carhartt logos that they used to use on the bibs that used to uh, be worn by railroad workers. And it's a really, really cool looking logo from the late 1800s, early 1900s, very cool. The other thing that you've obviously noticed is that darker red duck color. One of the cool things about this originally Carhartt stuff was made out of denim. Then during World War I, the indigo that came from Germany in which they used to dye the denim wasn't readily available. So they ended up trying something else. They used tree bark and a couple of other things to make the dye. And the original color, the original Carhartt brown was much more of a reddish hue. And then eventually at times it changed and it changed again and to be what we know now, which is sort of that orangey brown. This is the way that it originally was. This, they're calling it their red duck, but I think this is probably the most noticeable thing about them. The other thing is all four of these items are manufactured in the USA. So there you have sort of an elite collection, this group of four iconic pieces that everybody's heard of and probably everybody's worn if you're in the trades or you work with your hands in any capacity, all made in the USA all with just really cool nods to the past. But of course, if you do get one of these items, wear it the way that it was intended to wear, the way it was designed to be worn, which is out doing work. Beat the hell out of these things. That's when they look their best, when they become comfortable. And I think that, you know, car hearts, when they've been well-worn, have a certain charm to them. You have to earn that patina. It doesn't come pre-distressed. These are workwear, first and foremost. They're, they have no place on high street. These are things that you buy for function and comfort first, protection, and secondly is the way they look. Wear them the way they're supposed to be worn. That's my suggestion. 
Now, I don't know if the Heritage Collection is something that's going to go away if it's like a limited time thing or if they're going to add to it over time. If they do add to it, though, here are a couple things that I would like to see if anybody's listening. I would love to see a pair of their bibs in that original Carhartt Red Duck with the cool logo in it. Uh, I would also like to see a chore coat, a Carhartt chore coat, which was one of their old pieces that used to exist. And I'm not really sure how much it does anymore. I know that Work in Progress has a version, but it would be cool to see an, a workwear version with some of their take on it in this color. I'd also like to see some Hickory Stripe stuff because that's a very old school kind of retro thing. And who knows? I mean, if this Heritage Collection catches on, it may start to be kind of like the way Red Wing did with their Heritage Collection. I hope it is. That would be really cool. So guys, thank you so much for watching. Please let me know what you think of the Carhartt Collection and what you think that they should develop or come out with if they do decide to continue it. I hope they do. Let me know in the comment section below. Thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. I'll catch you next time.